bugs. Well, they put out a new firmware and we're gonna show you today how to upgrade it in five minutes or less. My name's Jim and this is The Edge of Tech. So like I said, you got your brand new Ender 3 V2 from Creality. And I tell you what, there were some bugs in the original firmware. For me, if I adjusted anything in the tune section while it was printing, I found that the printer would actually start skipping and shift layers. That's not cool. Creality listened, they put out a brand new firmware a few days ago, and I'm gonna show you how to upgrade that firmware in five minutes or less. It is super fast, it is super easy on the 32-bit board, and we're gonna show you how to do that now. Let's go. So the first thing you wanna do is go to creality.com forward slash download. This brings us to our Creality firmware and download page. Scroll down until you see firmware, and the first option is Ender Series. Click on Ender Series, and scroll down until you find the Ender 3 V2. If you notice, there's a couple different firmwares. Uh, there's one that was just released on the 24th, if you have a BL Touch. Today we're gonna use the version 1.1.6 latest firmware from July 22nd. So you wanna click on that, and what that'll do is download the firmware. As soon as it's done downloading, what you want to do, go to the folder it downloaded in. In my case, it's the downloads folder. We're gonna right click and we're gonna extract it. When it's done, click into the folder and you'll see a file called ender3v2 latest firmware.bin. You wanna take your SD card from the printer and you wanna put the SD card in the computer. Copy this .bin file straight to that SD card. Once you get the .bin file copied to the micro SD card, go ahead and eject the micro SD card and take it out and then we'll meet you back at the printer. All right, so, so far that was really easy. All we did was download the file from creality.com forward slash download, which is in the description below. We copied the .bin file onto this little micro SD card and that brings us to our next step we're gonna insert the micro SD card into the printer while the printer is off. So once you have the micro SD card inserted into the printer, all you have to do is turn the printer on and it'll boot up and it'll go through the firmware upgrade. It is a very quick process. You'll see a little bar come across and your screen will come on. And the way to confirm it is to go into the screen, scroll over to info, and look at your firmware version. It is firmware version 1.0.1. Then you'll know you just successfully upgraded the firmware on the Ender 3 V2 and you're ready to rock. So once you have the firmware upgraded, you should be good to go. And as you saw, it is super easy on these new 32-bit boards. You literally take the firmware, the .bin file, you put it on the SD card, you put it in the printer, you turn the printer on, and it should upgrade all by itself very quickly. So if you find someone else out there making their own firmware and you wanna check it out, it will work the same way, just download it from their site, not the Creality site. That goes for anything in the future. If TH3D releases a unified firmware, or Tiny Machines, or anybody comes out with their firmware for this, it's all the same. Download it, put the .bin file on the SD card, put it in the printer, turn the printer on. It is super easy, and we just did it in under five minutes. It probably took you longer to watch this video than it did to actually upgrade your printer. I really appreciate you guys watching. I hope you learned something today, and as always, keep printing. Hey everybody, I hope you liked the video today. I know it was a super quick one, and hopefully it helps. If you liked it, give it that thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and click the bell if you want to get notified when we go live on Monday nights for hot makes or anytime a new video comes out on the channel. Have you guys seen the Ender 3 V2 playlist I have? It's right here.